Hi guys, welcome to CA Inter MCQs. Today we all are doing the chapter of unit and batch costing. These MCQs are there from the module. Once the module MCQs are finished, we'll be shifting to our own made MCQs. Now this chapter that was there of unit and batch costing basically speaks about that in case you manufacture one single type of product, then you should follow something called as unit costing. Find out all your costs, divide by number of units. But there are companies who try to manufacture the goods in batches. Suppose you get a certain order of 1000 units. These 1000 units will be homogeneous, mother will be completely same. So then we would like to find out cost of one batch and then divide by 1000 units. That is batch costing. We all have already done something called as job costing, whereby every order that we get is unique. Okay, and one job is one unit, but batch costing is every batch is unique. And in that batch, each and every unit is going to be same. So that's what we are about to be doing in this chapter. Let me also just remind you that you should join our telegram channel for all the updates for all the MCQs that can be coming in exams. Plus our regular courses of CA inter costing and FM are available. Uh, the link of all those things will be there in the description. Let's start it off with today's MCQs. So today we all have this question, different businesses in order to determine the cost of their product or service offering follow. Bring out the four options, please. Four options. First, different methods of costing like unit costing. Now let me keep on describing unit costing is what? Whereby companies manufacture one single type of product find out the cost of the entire company, divide by the number of units. As all the units are same, cost per unit should be same. That is unit costing. Job costing, we are a company like say fashion designers for whom every unit is completely different. We will follow something called as job costing. Every job will be different. Process costing is followed whereby the goods pass through various stages before they all become final product. You have batch costing whereby you get orders for a certain group of units. Each group is going to be called as a batch. As I told in the beginning, suppose you get an order for making 1000 same kind of t-shirts. Those 1000 t-shirts will be called as one batch. Contract costing used to be there in CA Inter. Now it is no longer there. But then contract costing is basically where companies undertake long term contracts like making a building making a bridge, making say a flyover, etc. Operating costing is basically followed for companies which are there in service sector. That was option A for us. What is option B? Uniform costing. Uniform costing is kind of say your accounting standards whereby different companies follow same set of costing policies so that their cost is comparable across the companies. Okay, this is B. Then see over here different techniques of costing like uniform costing, standard costing, historical costing, absorption costing, marginal costing. These are various techniques which are used to find out the cost. Like under absorption costing, we consider fixed cost. Under marginal costing, we only try to consider the variable cost or the specific costs that are there in relation to a particular product. Then in this case, you all have historical costs whereby costs are recognized based upon what was the cost when it was incurred, not based upon whatever will be the cost in future, so on. Okay, these are different techniques of costing. And lastly, none of the above. Now, different types of businesses will have to follow different techniques. If I am, say, a dress designer, I will follow something like job costing. If I am, say, in construction business, I will follow something called as contract costing. If I'm there in service sector, say, running a hotel, hospital, then I would follow something called as operating costing. If in this case, we are a company, say manufacturing t-shirts, but t-shirts pass through various stages. In first stage, we convert say cotton into cloth. In second stage, we convert the cloth into shirts. Okay. So on, then goods are passing from one department to another. Then we'll follow something called as process costing. Okay. <clears throat> if suppose we get orders from the customer, whereby we have to manufacture certain type of units. Example, say that we are a company which manufacture, which manufactures the idols of Ganesh. Okay, so Ganesh idol, Ganesh ki murtiya. So whenever we get the order, say that we get an order to manufacture 500 units of same type of design. 
So for us, 500 units will be recognized as one batch. Then we'll follow something called as batch costing. Okay. So as per me, if it is different businesses in order to determine different cost of their products, then answer over here should be A because every business will have a different thing. So answer is A over here. That's the correct answer.